हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अंकित जैन हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अंकित जैन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल टेक जर्नी विद अंकित टुडे इज डे 43 ऑफ आवर एलडब्ल्यूसी बूट कैंप फ्रॉम द टुडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग द न्यू सीरीज इन आवर एलडब्ल्यूसी बूट कैंप दैट इज कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा टेबल एज ऑफ नाउ इन आवर बूट कैंप वी आर वर्किंग विद वेरी बेसिक डेटा टेबल राइट बट इन दिस सीरीज वी विल एक्सप्लोर हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट फ्यू एडवांस डेटा टेबल्स एज वेल where we will see how you can enable the inline editing on your data table where we will see how you can select the rows in your data table where we will see how you can add the data with the help of wrapper classes in your data table and also we will see how we can load the images and apply the css by creating our own custom data types right so these are the different things that we will be exploring in this series so in the first part is uh, is completely dedicated to how you can design the custom data types in your lightning web component right for the data table because by default data table does not give you any provision where you can load the images right where you can add the badges so how you can go and do all those stuffs in this data table so we will be covering starting with very basics and after that we will be covering the few advanced concepts as well So before we get started a quick intro about me my name is ankit jain i do have more than 10 years of experience in the salesforce ecosystem where i got an opportunity to work on the different clouds including the sales cloud service cloud cpq billing as well as on the financial services cloud i do have my technical expertise majorly on the lwc as well as on the integration in case you folks likes to connect with me you can connect with me on these different channels you can subscribe to my youtube channel you can follow me on the linkedin and you can also connect me on the telegram channel as well again the links of all these channels are available in the video description so you can get connected from me uh, with me by any of this channel so let's get try to understand what is lightning data table many times we do use the lightning data table right so lightning data table basically it is useful whenever you want to display the data in the tabular form right where each column render the content based on the data type this is the key part folks that you should know about the data table in data table the data is rendered in the tabular form based on the data type by default if you are not specifying any data type the default data type is text by default if you are not specifying any data type then the data type is text but based on the data type that you are defining for your column accordingly the data will be displayed in your data table next thing about the lightning data table is your lightning data table is not supported on the mobile devices it is only for the desktop devices you cannot display the data with the help of lightning data table on the mobile devices next point some of the features for which we do uh, which lightning data table provide out of the box uh before be, uh, without you go and implement any custom solution like you can go and format the data with the appropriate data type for example if you want to display the data in the form of email or in the form of phone you can use out of the box data type that salesforce is providing you can also enable the infinite scrolling of the rows infinite scrolling means rather than you go and load the data at a time uh in the lightning data table based on the user request you can load the data in the chunks of 50 or any limited size that you want to decide according to your business complexity another out of the box feature that it provides is the inline editing you can enable the inline editing in your lightning data table you can define the header specific action you can define the row level specific action i'll be covering all these things by line by line in this series so that you will get the understanding of all those concepts right we can resize the column we can select a particular row from the lightning data table we can enable the sorting we can do the text wrapping we can do the row numbering as well as we can do the cell content alignment as well so this out of the box features that lightning data table supports you just have to put few additional attributes and you can explore all these features again where you can evaluate all these features the one stop solution whenever we are learning the lightning web component is the component library in the component library salesforce have given lots of example how you can go and design your lightning data table so first thing that you have to do here is here you have to go and search for the lightning data table right under the lightning you will get the data table here under the documentation you will get lots of example 
with the proper scenarios for example if you have to select the rows what all different things that you have to do right for example you have to retrieve the data from an apex controller and put it on the lightning data table how you can do that salesforce have given lots of example for the lightning data table okay so i'll be covering those as well and also i'll be covering the few advanced concepts today the first concept that we will be discussing is how we can define the custom data type right today the first concept that we will be covering is how we can define the custom data type for example in my data table i want to put the data in the form of badges out of the box salesforce lightning table does not provide this feature for example in my lightning data table i want to put the icons again out of the box salesforce does not provide this feature for example in my lightning data table i want to display the images again out of the box salesforce does not provide these features as well how i can go and implement this kind of a feature in my lightning data table right another thing that we will be discussing here is for example if i want to change the text of my color based on any specific condition again how we can do that in the lightning data table so we will be exploring that part as well right so whenever we have to implement our own data type for example here to display the badge i have to implement my own data type for example here to display the icon i have to go and implement my own data type for example to display the image i have to implement my own data type right why i am saying my own data type because out of the box salesforce do provide only these data types let me show you the list here mm -hmm. if i am not wrong the list might be here formatting with data type uh, let me scroll for that list okay i'm not able to see that list but uh, there are same, there are limited data types that it does support and out of those data types if you want to implement your own data types then you have to use the custom data type again i am looking for that list just give me a minute for example let me look for the phone right these are the default data types that salesforce do support like the boolean or the currency date date local email location phone text url this those, our lightning data table it do supports only this data type but it does not have any data type to display the badges or to display the icons or to display the images in such scenarios whenever you want to display your own data type then you have to take the help of custom data type then you have to take the help of custom data type again there are proper steps that you have to follow to implement this custom data type the step here is you have to go and create your lightning web component okay and that lightning web component will extend the lightning data table the first step that you have to do here is you have to go and create the lightning web component and that lightning web component what it will do it will extend the lightning data table by extending this lightning data table you can create your own custom type so for example let's say this is my component my custom type data table okay this is the lightning component that i have created and this lightning component is extending this lightning data table now in this my custom type data table i can go and define the custom types here okay so to define the custom types the next thing that i have to do here is i have to create the html file for each custom type i have to go and create the html file in my custom type again if you take this example there are two custom types that i want to create one is for the custom name and second one is for the custom number so what i have done in the same folder i have created two html templates right and after that i have imported both of these templates in my javascript file after that i have imported both of these templates in my javascript file so this is the component which i have extended after that i have created the html files after that i have imported those in my javascript file now the next thing that we have to do here is we have to go and define the static custom types you cannot change this name you have to use this name as is right you have to put the name here as static custom types and in this static custom types you can define your custom data types right so first data type that i want to define here is for the custom name let's say i am using this custom name to display the names in the form of badges 
okay so first parameter that i have to pass here is the template template is nothing but the html file in which i have put the logic to display the name in the form of badges so that is nothing but the custom name template second one i have to put here is the standard sale layout the default value for the standard lay sale layout is false the default value for the standard sale layout is false now what is standard sale layout standard sale layout means if you are not setting this value or if you are setting this value to true then sale will have all the properties that is provided by the lightning data table if you want to override those properties or the attributes provided by the lightning data table then you make this value to false and the default value here is false right if you want to have this value as true for example the custom data type that you are creating it should have all the properties or attributes from the lightning data table then you make this as true otherwise you will make this as the false next thing that you will be defining here is the type attributes in the type attributes you can pass more than one field names in the type attribute you can pass more than one field name again i am repeating first you have to create the component in the component you have to make sure that you are extending the lightning data table after that based on the number of data types that you have to create create the html file in my scenario i am implementing two custom data types so i have created two html files here in that html file uh, whatever the html files that we have created and the design that we have put right after that we have to go and import that html file in my javascript and define the static custom types here yes. again uh, while defining the custom types we have to make sure that we are naming that as a static followed by the custom types right and in the bracket we can go and define the data type the data type it will take three parameters or three properties one is the template second one is the standard sale layout and third one is the type attribute third one is the type attribute right this is the this is how you can go and create your own custom data type now the next thing here is as you can see i have also enabled the custom styling as well so contact name as well as the contact picture and the rank for example they are coming up from the custom data types that i have created and here the title which is in green color it is coming up from the style that i have applied so there are two ways by which you can apply the style to your column one is by defining again whenever you have to put the style to your column you have to always use the sale attribute whenever you have to apply the style to your column you have to always use the sale attribute and in the sale attribute you can specify the class name here in the sale attribute you can specify the class name again if you are specifying the hard coded class name then whatever the styling that you are putting up here it will be applied to all the rows right it will be applied to all the rows available in the column if you are directly defining the class but let's say you want to apply some conditional styling right you want to apply some conditional styling then you can do that with the help of field name attribute again we will see this example as well in the demo part okay so in our demo we will see two things first how to define the custom type and also we will see how we can apply the style to the columns as well okay now let's move towards the demo part before i start the demo as i have to implement these two things on my data table and here i do have the two custom field one is the rank and second is the contact picture so what i am doing here is i am creating two custom fields on my contact object so i am navigating back to my object manager and creating these two custom fields so on my object manager i am looking for the contact the fields and relationships i am creating two custom field let's say the first custom field that i am creating here is the uh picture so i am again here i am selecting the data type as the url because i'll be putting the url address and here i am naming that as the picture uh followed by the okay that's fine i don't want to put anything else let's me put next i want this field to be visible only to the system administrator so i am selecting the system administrator clicking on next and after that i am creating another field 
another field that I am creating here is for the rank and I am making this as the number putting a next and naming this field as the rank here I am putting the length as 10 and putting up next again I want this field visible only to the system admin and clicking on next and clicking on so I have created two custom fields on my platform now I want to pop I have to populate some data in those fields again to populate the data let me do that with the help of anonymous window or let me use this anonymous window here uh, on my editor only so let me switch to the editor I am putting navigating here to the scripts in the apex here I go and put the put some logic to execute because I have to populate the two fields one is the picture and second one is the rank so to do that what I am doing here is I am navigating to the data so list of contact con list is equal to select let's say id comma picture is the one field rank is the one field from contact okay that i want to iterate and here i go and take each contact at a time for contact con of contact list and the data that i want to populate here first is for the con picture so and in the picture I will populate some URL address and the rank rather than I go and put the common rank what I do here is in case the title is available I am simply putting some logic so that I do have the different ranks available so what I am saying here is if string is blank con dot title then populate the con dot uh, rank is equal to 3 else populate the con dot rank for example as 8 okay I am simply putting I am putting some dummy data now in the picture I have to also put the URL so to put the URL here I am looking for take journey with Ankit navigating to the images just simply putting the logo of take journey with Ankit copy getting the image address and again coming back and putting that image address here okay so this is my URL uh, that I have to populate this is my rank that I have to populate right and once I do have everything here I go and perform the update operation on the contact list I believe it should work let's go and execute this so again I am selecting the text and executing the anonymous window with the currently selected text. Post that we will validate whether okay something is missing here I am missing the semicolon let me check if I am missing the semicolon here as well no that's fine again I am selecting the text executing it one more time something is wrong expecting this okay. let me go and select this and try to execute this one more time right now this time the execution is completed let's go and run this query to validate whether the values are populated uh, correctly or not I am simply checking this for the first 10 records if I do have the correct value available here or not so here I go and put the execute SOQL query here I am putting my query sorry execute SOQL query doing that with the help of REST API and checking the output folks let me know if you do have any questions I'm simply I have simply created some test data uh, so that we can have the good result available on the UI 
uh, it's still taking time to execute okay that's fine parallelly we can go and create our lightning web component as well so here i am creating my lightning web component okay my query is executed okay Let me select this with the help of. Let me execute the SQL query like this. Create execute SQL query. Okay. Uh, parallelly, I am creating the Lightning Web component. So create Lightning Web component, and here I am giving the name to my Lightning Web component as Custom Style Data. Table. custom style data table so this is my data table that i am creating okay let's let it be i believe it has been populated let directly check the output in the final window okay so uh, what i have to do here is i have to get the contact records and put it on my data table so for that the first thing that i am doing here is i am opening my contact controller this is the controller that we have created in one of the previous session right so i am creating another method in this contact controller if you want you can also go and create another class as well just to save some time i am using the same method here get contact list uh, for data table okay what i what are different things that i want to fetch here let's say i want to fetch the name id i don't need this so i am taking this out i need the phone email rather than the photo url this time i am using here the photo or picture underscore underscore c i have created one custom field here as the rank underscore underscore c okay and i want to also fetch one more data that is the account id and also wants to fetch the account name i also want to show you how we can display the related data as well so i want to get all those contacts for example where the account id is not equal to null and i only want to get the 10 records right so when i execute this uh, query i will get the list of contacts along with the account name okay very simple query i have not written any complex logic and i am returning that data back so let me go and deploy this now, to get this executed the next thing that i have to do here is i have to make a call to my apex class and get that data so before i go and make that call with the help of apex class what i have to do here is i have to go and import this one in my javascript so here i go and write down the import statement import from at the red salesforce slash apex slash uh, contact controller and this is the one get contact list for the data table so this is one this is how we can go and get the data now i am simply wiring this and getting the data and whatever the data that i am getting i am simply printing that data for now i am not writing any complex logic i am simply printing that data and populate a be default a base data table okay so that i can validate whether actually the base data table is coming up and then on the top of which we will go and put our additional logic so here i go and put the wired contacts and here i am putting the data comma error i will explain this in very detail in our wire series so here i am checking for the data and here let me go and put the console.log that i am getting the data else if i am getting an error so here i put console.log that is nothing but the error right whatever the data that i am getting let me go and store that data into one of the property so here i am storing it into the for example contacts and let me go and populate that data into the contact so this dot contacts is equal to data whatever the data that i am getting i am simply storing this into this variable right now to display the data table again what i am doing here is i am taking the help of my 
web component library because we have already displayed this kind of a data table in the past session so again i am displaying the similar kind of a data table here let me go and look for the basic html let me refresh this page So let's say this is my data table. I'm copying this complete code, moving back and let me close this. Let me close this and putting this on the HTML file, right? Putting this on the HTML file. So here I do have the data in my scenario. I'm storing the data in the contact. So what I am doing here is I am using the contacts variable now the only thing pending here is to populate the column structure so we can go and get the column structure from here so to define the column structure you can use this const columns and put it here after that you can modify this as per your requirement so here i am doing the same thing i am putting here the const columns and here the next thing that we are doing in the documentation here is we are populating the columns to use it on the HTML file right now what all different things that we have to populate it's completely up to us so let's see the first thing that I want to populate here is the contact name right it is of field type name in case you are not specifying any type then the default type here is always text the next thing that I want to populate here is the let's say uh, account or account I will take that in a while because you cannot directly access the uh, merge fields or the dot fields in on your data table so I will take that one step later uh, next thing that I want to populate here for example is the let's say title right again in the field name before I move and further I want to show you one more thing in the field name what you have to populate in the field name whenever you are populating you have to make sure that you are always putting the API name of the field or the field that you are creating in your JavaScript file right so by default we are populating the data here so what is the whatever the field that we are querying we have to populate the exact field name so here I am putting the field name as name followed by the title here I am putting the field name as title again it is of not type URL so I'm again taking out the type from here the next thing that I want to populate here is the rank underscore underscore C it is of type uh, number so what I am doing here is I am changing this type or let me check whether the number type is supported or not so here I go to the documentation and checking for the number right we do have this number type so let me go and put here the type as number another thing that I do have here is the picture so here I am putting the picture underscore underscore C my picture it is of type URL right so I am putting here the type as URL and let me quickly correct this here I am putting the rank and here I have to pass the API name of the field Again here you can put the picture and pass the API name of the field that is nothing but the picture underscore underscore C. This is how you can pass the data on your lightning data table. Okay very simple as of now I am not adding any custom styling. First we will try to load the basic data table. I am exposing this component to the app page. So I am making is exposed as true defining the targets here as the app page. Now let me go and deploy this let's go and add that component on the page so on this page I'm adding my data table so here I go click on the edit page custom style data table right this is the uh, component that we have created I am simply dragging and dropping it clicking on save and navigating back you can see that I do have my data table available here and the data is also populating in this data table but again the final output that I am looking something like this where I do have the contact name right followed by the title which is heavy it should be in the green color next one I am looking for the rank in the rank 
so i do have the requirement that if the rank is greater than 5 then i want to honor them with a badge so that that is my another requirement uh again okay, few more fields that i want to use phone and email and also the contact picture so first let's use the phone and email and after that we will move forward so here i go and add the two more fields first i am putting here as the phone and second one i am putting here again the field name for the phone is phone only and the type is phone where the p it should be in a small case and the second field that i want to populate here is the email and what i want to do here is i am putting here the email and the type that i am putting here is the email type let me go and deploy this we'll take step by step i will navigate you how you can add the complexity now in this base data table right so here i go and refreshing this now you can see that based on the data type that we are selecting the different fields are populating here automatically the icon is coming up why this email icon is coming up the reason being here i am using the type as email here you can see that my phone numbers are clickable why they are clickable because i have used this as the phone number here you can see that i am getting here all the all these things in the form of url why they are coming up in the form of url because i have given the type here as url so according to the type that you are putting the way your a data table will load that data now the next thing that i want to do in my data table here is i also wants to add the account column as well and key thing that i want to do with the account here is i want whenever the user clicked on that account the user should be navigated to that account two things that i want to do here i want to populate the account name right account name is kind of a related field again if you check the contact list controller contact controller here how we are populating the account name by using the dot that is it is a related field we are doing here child to parent query to populate the account name right i want this account name it should be i first thing i want to do here is i have to populate the account name directly i cannot use the account dot name here so that is the first thing i have to take care second thing i want to make this account name clickable second thing i have to make this account account name clickable how we can do that right now let's pay close attention because now i am start to going i am starting to adding the complexity in my data table so what i am doing what i am saying here is whatever the data that you are getting up here i am not directly storing that data in the contacts what i have to do here is for each data i want to do some modification and i am doing that modification with the help of map because with the help of map we can iterate over the array here basically what we are getting we are getting the array of record so i am iterating over that array let me access the current item here and what i am saying here is while accessing the current item i have to first create the account link so how to create the account link so let me put that variable name here as the account link now here whenever you have to create the link and you do have the id you just have to put the slash followed by the field name plus followed by the field name plus now you can put the id so i have to populate i want to make my account id clickable so what i am doing here is i am adding the slash attribute by default my javascript framework it will take this base url and after that after the slash it whatever the id that you will be populating it will go automatically go and prepare that account link here again this is only applicable to the data table not outside the data table okay so here i do have my account link now the next thing that i have to use here is the account name as i directly cannot use the account name so to use the account name what i have to do here is again i have to access the account name something like this right where i am taking the current record and getting the account dot name and storing that into the one of the local variable now once i do have these things ready right my account link and the account name that i have to populate what i will do here is i am simply write down the return statement and in my return statement first i am populating the existing record and after that i am adding 
the two more property what the spread operator will do it will first add the existing record in the spread operator session i have make sure that i am explaining this scenario how you can go and copy the one object into another object and then add the few more properties so what i am doing here is first i am adding the complete object and on the top of which i am adding the existing property so let's say the first property that i want to add here is the account link and the second property that i want to add here is the account name again you can make any other property name it's completely up to you Sim just for the better readability i have put the same property name if you want you can give any property names here okay so this is how i have modified my map and what i am doing here is now i am storing this modified map in the this dot contacts now i am storing this modified map in the this dot contacts i hope you guys got the understanding what i am doing here i am iterating over the data getting the link getting the account name and after that i am modifying the object to populate the account link as well as the account name now let's go and add one more column here and this time i am adding the column for the account name so here i am putting the label as account name now what is the field name here that i want to populate the field name here is the account link because in my account link only i do have the actual value so i am putting here the account link now what is the type because i want to make this as a clickable so i have to put the type here as the url i have to put here the type as the url right now in case you wants to override some property right because if i put this account link definitely account link will come up but for user it is not possible to figure it out what is the name of the account if i go and deploy this i will recommend when you are practicing this try to deploy at this stage and check how your component is coming up you will see that you are getting the ids of an account here it is not possible to read the ids and understand what is the account name so what i have to do here is here i have to modify few of the attributes of url type what i have to do here is i have to modify or i have to repopulate few of the attributes of the url type so whenever you have to do that you will use another property that is nothing but the type attributes right you will use another property that is nothing but the type attributes now in this type attribute here you can define more than one properties that you wants to modify here you can define more than one properties that you wants to modify in my scenario i simply wants to populate the label so here i am putting the label what label that i wants to give here the label again here you have to use the field name so whenever you have to modify any properties you have to always give the field name and populate that value what what label i want to give i want to give here the label as an account name why i am doing this let me repeat one more time if i am not if i will not do this stage then here it will show me the account id i don't want to see the account ids so that i am modifying the type to modify the type i am using this type attribute in the type attribute first attribute that i want to modify here is the label because i want the label should come up same as the account name so here i am putting the account name make sure that you are putting the property name here so here i am putting the account name another property that i want to modify here is the target now what is target if you are not modifying this target with the underscore blank then what you are letting the salesforce know that you have to open the record in the same tab but if you want the record should be open in another tab then here you go and specify the target hyphen blank then you go and specify here the target hyphen blank now let me go and deploy this and we will see how the account name is coming up now on my ui let me go and refresh this okay looks like there is a problem so let me try to refresh one more time not sure if the issue from my side or okay so i it means i am doing something wrong so here i have put the label as the field name sorry i have i need to put this inside the quotes that's a mistake might be let me try to deploy this one more time because all these values must be inside the quotes so might be one of the reason 
let me try to refresh this now here you can see that i am getting the account name and if i go and click on this account name the expectation here is the account should open in a separate tab so what we have done in our lightning data table we have populated the hyperlink of the related record what we have done we have populated the hyperlink of the related record okay so what i am doing whenever i am clicking here you can see that it is opening the record in the separate tab this time i clicked on the burlington account so the burlington account will open up in the separate tab you can see that burlington account is open in the separate tab so this is how you can add the urls to your lightning data table okay so now we do have the ac name account title rank phone email as well as the picture now the next thing let me try to do here is i want to populate here the title in the green color let's say i do have a requirement that my title should be populated here in a green color how you can do that again very simple what you have to do here is you have to navigate here in the same iteration that you are doing here you go and put the let title color right this is how you can add the css if you have if you do have any specific condition you can also define that condition here in my scenario i don't want to put any condition so what i want to do here is i want to populate the css class now here you can put your external css or here you can also put your slds as well for the time being i am putting here the slds for the text so here i am looking for the slds text and i want to use here the color as success so here i am putting this sldf text color success and putting that as a title color now i have put one more prop i have to go and add one more property so i am putting a comma and adding one more property here as the title color this is how you can add any number of properties in your data table that you are getting from or the in your data table by modifying this data that you are getting from the apex now again coming back to the title here what i have to modify here in the title i want to modify the color right modifying the color means basically here you have to modify the sale attributes right whatever because here if you recall in the slides we discussed that there are two ways to achieve it one is by use oh, sorry let me navigate to the slide here we discussed that there are two ways to achieve it one is in the sale attribute you go and specify uh, what css you want another way here is you can go and specify the sale attribute and put the field name majority of the times in the projects we do use this approach because we have to populate the sales conditionally right for example let's say you do have a business requirement that whenever the title is uh for example let's say either uh, whenever the title is ceo or the any head then you want to populate in some other color or in other scenario you should go and populate in some other color if you do have that kind of a requirement then you can go and apply some additional logic if you are using this type of an approach right so to apply this approach what i am using here is i am adding one more property to my column so again i am navigating back here putting the sale attributes i am putting here the sale attribute this time i want to modify the sale attribute right so here i go and put the sale attribute what i have to modify i have to go and apply the class so here i am putting the class in the class again i have to pass the field name so i am putting here the field name what is the field name that i have to pass the title color so here i go and put the title color as the field name right so this is how you can go and pass it so first you have to figure it out what attribute that you wants to modify right either the type either the type attribute or the sale attribute and after that here whatever the field that you have defined you can populate that field by using this field name right again if you don't have any static or if you have for example any static css then you can directly put that class name like this but in case you do have the field name then here you can go with this approach right now let me go and deploy this and check whether the my title is coming up in the green color or not so here i go and refresh this one more time
here you can see that my titles it is coming up now in the green color this is how you can apply the styling to your component this is how you can apply the styling to your component in the data table now the the pending things that we do have now as per our slide is the here i want to add the badges here i want to apply the put the icon and here i also want to put the image as well so how we can go and implement this stuff for that if you recall what approach that i have highlighted we have to go and use the custom types right so what i am doing here is i am creating one component with the name of custom data type again it's not mandatory that you have to go and create the component with the same name you can go and create the component with any name so let me go and close this for now i don't need this and also i don't need html file so i'm closing the unwanted file and creating one more component and i am naming that component here as the custom data type right the first thing that we have to do in this component here is we have to go and extend the lightning data table that's what we discussed we have to go and extend the lightning data table so here i go and extend the lightning data table right now the next thing that i have to do here is whatever the templates that i have to go and create i will go and create those templates here so in my project folder i am creating the multiple templates so first template let's say i am creating here is for the custom name dot html right second folder that i second template that i am creating here I might be doing something wrong. Let me close this. Second temp second template that I have to create here again in the same folder is the name of custom. Let's say rank dot html. And the third template that I am creating in my folder again in the custom data type is the custom image dot html. what i have done i have created the three different templates here first is for the custom name second one is for the custom type and the third one is for the custom picture right now first let me navigate here to the custom name dot html in the custom name what i have to do i have to display the batch so what i am doing here is here i am putting the lightning batch right here i am putting the lightning batch here i do have my label and also the icon name in case any icon that i wants to display so let me i can also go and put that icon name here for example again if you check this component here i am putting the small icon here right so let's say the icon that i wants to put here is for the contact so here i am putting the standard contact now only thing that i need to populate here is the label now what is the label here the label is nothing but whatever the type attribute that you will define so how to define the type attribute again i am coming back to my javascript file right before i move further i am again coming back to my javascript file in my javascript file what i have to do first i have to go and import the html component that we have created so here i am importing custom name template you can give anything from it's basically an alias name you can give any name so what is the path that you have to do as we are creating this files in the same folder we can use the dot slash custom name dot html we have to put the file name same thing we can do for the other imports as well here i am putting the custom rank template and the custom image template and here i am changing the name to this as the custom rank and i am changing this name to the custom for example image dot html this is how you will go and import all these files now the next thing that you will do here is you will go and create the custom data type i am simply following what i have explained here i have imported my templates and now i am creating the custom types here how to create the custom type you have to put the static followed by the custom types right now here you will go and define all the custom type that you wants to create so let's say first custom type that i wants to create is for the custom name so here i am putting the custom name you can give any name again it's not mandatory it's completely up to you what name you wants to give 
right now this custom name again it will take three things first is the template second one is the standard layout and third one is the type attribute so what i am saying here is get the three things first is the template second one here is the standard uh, cell layout and the third thing here is the type attribute third thing here is the type attribute for this i have already created this template that is the custom name template so i am taking this let i want this field it should use the standard attribute or standard sale layout that the data table is providing so i am putting here this standard sale layout value is true and the type attribute here you can go and put any type attribute that you want let me put this type attribute here as the contact name right here i am putting the type attribute as the contact name so whatever the type attribute that you do have here i want to populate the same type attribute there right so it should not be type attributes if i am not wrong it should be type attributes so here i have to put the type attributes a type attributes correct because we can pass more than one value here that is the reason we have to put this here as the type attribute now what i have to do here is in my html file in the label i have to go and populate the contact name whatever the contact name that we are getting so how we can do that so here i go and says that in the label put the type attributes dot what is the name that we have given that is the contact name so here i am putting the contact name this is how you go and define your custom type so what will happen this badge is now the custom type that you have created with the custom name whatever the contact name that you will pass that contact name will come up here right now the next thing we will do is for the rank now we have done this first for the uh first thing we have done this for the name now the next thing that we will do here is for the rank how to do this for the rank now again i am coming back to the rank html here also i am putting the template now let's say coming back to the javascript file again now this time i don't want to use the standard cell layout so here again i go and first create this let me put this as the uh, custom rank and let me define the type attribute uh, as mm, let me give this type attribute name as the rank here whatever the rank value that we are getting i am putting this as the or let me put this i let's say i want to use this type attribute uh, to display the icon so okay so here i am putting the type attribute as the rank icon for example so this is my another type attribute first one i have created this for the custom name second one i am creating this for the custom rank now here i want to use the custom rank template so here i am putting the custom rank template and i don't want to use the standard cell layout that if you are making this false here as the standard cell layout in your html file you can write your own css as well because you don't want to use the uh, kind of a attribute features that by default data table is providing so here you can go and write your own css as well so here i go and put div class sls p around uh, uh, let me put here the extra small for now i want to add some padding first and after adding the padding here i want to display the number so to display the number i am using here the lightning formatted number putting the value whatever the value that we are getting i am simply displaying that value here and i want let's say this value it should be floated to extreme right so here i am using the sls float uh, if i am not wrong right correct this is the class because again if you check in my screenshot what i wants to do here is i want my number it should come to the right and icon it should come to the extreme left right and that is the reason here i am moving this to the extreme right so i got this number here with the help of lightning formatted number now i also want here the icon as well so let me go and put the icon here so to get put the icon here i am using the lightning icon and putting here the icon name in the icon name what i have to do here is i have to populate the icon name from my type attribute so again i am using this type attributes in my file dot followed by the rank icon for
followed by this rank icon this is how you can go and define the icon in your component right what i am doing here is whatever the icon is coming up i am displaying that icon along with the formatted number now the next thing that i want to do here is for the picture again displaying the picture again i am navigating to my third file first let me go and design the javascript for this as well so here i go and put the third custom type as the custom so true and or let me make this as a false because let's use the layout provided by the uh, uh okay now let's have the same layout let's not disturb much too much things let's keep it simple for now okay so here i am putting the standard layout as this and here i am putting the uh, type attribute for example as the picture url okay so again to display that picture again i am on my html file for the custom image and here i am putting that image so followed by the image src is equal to now what is the source of an image that i wants to put mm. again if i go here and what is the here it should be comma right and type attributes so i am putting here the type attributes dot uh, picture url so here i go and put the picture url right now the next thing that i want i want my picture it should come up in round color so for that again i am using the slds class so what you can do here is here here you can go and look for the avatar and look for the slds classes around it so i want my image should come up in the large color so what i am doing here is i am applying this classes here right so that it should come in the round color and the avatar size will also be the bit large so that it will look much better so i am adding here the class so what i have done i have created the custom types for the custom name for the custom rank as well as for the custom picture as well i have created the custom types for all those things one key thing folks that you should note here is i am not disturbing the html file from the component i have created three different html file in the same component and i have added my own custom types here right now let's go and deploy this component now let's go and deploy this component now what we will do here is in our lightning web component again i am coming back to the custom style data table component that we have created what we will do in this component here is to display the details we will be using all these attributes okay so coming towards the first one that is i want to display the name here okay so here to display the name i am using the field name but now i have to use the own, my own custom type i cannot use here the field name i cannot use here the field name because i have created the custom type for this so what i have to do here is i have to specify the type here as the now what is the type that i have to use here again if you navigate to the javascript file we have defined the type here as the custom name so here we have to specify the type as the custom name right and now here in my custom name there are few attributes that i have to pass under the type attributes so what i am doing here is here i am again i go and put the type attributes and here i go and define those type attributes one after the other so the type attribute that i have to pass in our example we have to pass only one type attribute that is the contact name right so here i go and put the contact name now whatever the type attribute that you have to pass here you can go and pass that type attribute here you can go and pass that type attribute so again to pass the type attribute as a field name which is nothing but a name why i am getting this error okay because here i am using the equal to sign right so again i am repeating label i don't want to use the default type as text so what i have done here is i have created my own custom type that is the custom name under the type attributes i have to pass the what type attribute i have to pass contact name so i am passing here the type attribute as the contact name and passing the field name here as the name right so this is how my contact name will come up now coming towards the next type that is the rank again i don't want to use the by default whatever the rank is coming up i want to use my own type so again i am taking out the field name from here 
or let's have the field name because we have to pass the sale attribute here for the icon so or we are sorry we have to pass the type attribute here for the icon so that we can keep the field name here and here i want to use the type as custom rank so let me use here the type as custom rank now the next thing that i have to pass here is the type attribute so i am passing the type attribute now in my type attribute again if i come here what is the type attribute that my component is expecting that is nothing but the rank icon so here i am passing the rank icon here i am passing the rank icon now for the rank icon what is the field name that i do have what is the field name that i do have as of now i have not defined any field name to pass to my rank icon so we will go and define that field name here right because we have not decided which rank we have to pass so first we have to go and decide that and after that here we can use that field name so let's go and decide the field name for the rank here again i am coming back to my navigation as i said whenever the rank is greater than 5 then and then only i want to put that ribbon right here you can check if the rank is greater than 5 then and then only i am putting this ribbon i am not putting this ribbon for all the ranks so how i can make sure that again to do that what you can do here is again and this is how you can conditionally populate the data in your data table as well so here i am putting that if the rank is greater than 5 then and then only you should go and put the icon here i am using the icon as utility ribbon otherwise put it the value as blank you can get this ribbon icon again from this sldas in case you are either not sure how to get all those icons so here you can look for those icons sorry my bad here you can look for those icons and here if you search for the ribbon here you can see this ribbon icon right i want to give this ribbon icon based on the rank and that's why in my component what i am checking here is if the rank is greater than 5 then and then only apply the ribbon otherwise don't apply the ribbon now here i go and put a comma and i am adding this property as well now we have put created the field name this is the field name that i wants to use in my component this is the field name that i want to use in my component okay now coming to the picture as well what i have to do here for the picture again i have created one more custom type so here again i am using the custom picture as the custom type so rather than i go and use the type here as picture now i am using here the custom type and i have to pass some data so again i am taking out the field name in the rank i have not taken out the field name because i have to pass the rank and also my type attributes they are expecting this icon right my type attributes they are not expecting the rank that's why here i keep the field name but here my type attributes they are expecting the picture detail so here i am passing the type attributes and in the type attribute what is the type attribute that i have to pass again if i come here the type attribute that i have to pass here is the picture url right so here i go and put the type attribute as the picture url now in the picture url again what i have to pass i have to pass the field name and the field name that i have to pass here is the picture value that we do have so here i go and put the picture underscore underscore c right this is how you can pass it again one more thing that i want here is my image it should come into the center so you can also use the sale attribute as well uh, so here i go and after the type attribute here i am putting the sale attributes and in the sale attribute i am putting here the align meant as center alignment as center so this is how you can use all the custom types that you have created right but these custom types are available for the custom data type now these custom types they are not available for the lightning data table so what you have to do next here is you have to navigate to your html file and rather than you go and use the lightning data table now you have to use the custom type component right to display the data table so you cannot use the lightning data table because lightning data table that does not have this custom type so whatever the component which is extending the lightning data table right you have to use that component here so 
So in my HTML file, I am replacing this lightning data table with C custom data type component because this is the component that we have created which is extending the lightning data table right now let me go and deploy this let's go and validate now uh, sorry uh, let me navigate back to the editor here i go and refresh the page Okay, something is breaking. Let's try to figure it out what is breaking now. Coming back to here. Type attributes. This is correct. Might be one of the reason of break is if I am not wrong here, we are passing the name attribute without a quote. That is might be one of the reason. Let's go and check for the other fields as well. I am passing the title color correctly, rank icon correctly, picture again correctly inside the codes. So let's go and deploy this and check it one more time because whatever the values that we are passing in the properties, it should be inside the codes. So let me go and refresh this. Still it is breaking. That means something is wrong. Uh, coming to the component. I do have the custom name. I'm using the custom name, standard sale layout, type attributes. Let me check if I am not making any spell errors. So I'm looking for the property here as type attributes. So the spell is correct. And I do have my HTML file. Here I am putting the contact name, rank icon as well as the picture URL. Mm, what can be the possibility? Uh, let me scroll it down. I'm putting this again correct. Let me check if I'm getting any errors here or let me try to refresh this one more time. If problem continues, get in touch with the administrator. Let me click on inspect. Clicking on console. To check if there is any error here. Help. So let's try to do this for one field at a time so that we will understand whether the functionality is correct for all the fields or not. So for the time being, I'm commenting the rank field. as well as I'm commenting the picture field as well. First, we will check at least for the one field it is coming up correctly. And after that, we will go and validate for the other fields. So here I go and deploy this. Let me go and refresh this. Okay, that means there's some issue for the first field also contact name here okay one of the possibility is i put the type and the this name same so what i will do here is here i go and change this to the contact name type okay now, one of the reason it might be breaking because the type attribute name and the contact name is same again i'm also not sure i'm simply giving the hit and try so let me go and deploy this and here rather than I go and use this type here I am putting the custom type deploying this this is static custom types only right let me check the syntax here custom types and now followed by the custom name it's template standard sale layout is also correct type attributes this 
is also correct i'm just wondering if there's any typo let me refresh this now no luck mm, custom data types i'm checking lightning data table folks i might need some time to figure this out why it is breaking a custom name template custom rank template and the custom image template i do have all these templates here so custom name custom rank as well as the custom image followed by the static custom types so this is also correct static custom types after that the custom picture type this is also correct i do have the template standard cell layout as well as the type attributes whatever the type attribute that we wants to pass or uh, let me focus only for the one for now contact name template here yeah. okay uh i believe one thing that i missed here if i am not wrong that is i missed to import the lightning data table right so here what i have to do here is rather than we go and import the lightning element uh, i believe we have to import the lightning data table so let me go and do that lightning data table because we are extending the lightning data table but not the lightning element so here we have to make sure that we are importing this from the lightning slash data table right let me go and try to deploy this and validate now if now it is coming up correctly or not so i have deployed this let me refresh this one more time yeah now the table is coming up and i can see that i do have my names available in the component correctly so let me go and add some padding here so here i go and put class sldsvar var p around small so that it should have some nice padding and also what i am doing here is i am coming back to my javascript file whatever the code that i have commented for testing let me go and uncomment this so here i go and comment the code sorry and here i go and uncomment this part as well here i put the comma and now i do have the picture so let me go and deploy this so for the custom name it is coming up correctly now i am validating for the rank as well as for the picture as well so here i go and refresh this one more time right you can see that i do have the data coming up here for the rows i am getting this communication i do get the batch because all the data in my scenario is having the rank greater than 5 so i do have the batch coming up here and i do have my image is also coming up here again if you wants to increase this width as well what you can do here is you can navigate to your html file where is that custom style right here i have to navigate to my html file and let me remove this div for now for the better demo let's i'm simply removing this and deploying this one more time sorry folks i didn't get a chance to go over the questions let me check if we do have any questions okay lots of appreciation today thank you everyone for your great words i really appreciate it means a lot to me uh extreme weirdness can you put your question on the telegram group there we can discuss in more detail uh this is not the correct channel to discuss this query so i'll appreciate if you put that on the telegram group okay so let me go and refresh this one more time yep here you can see that my data table is coming up where i do have the batches 
I do have the text coming up in the green color. I do have the link which is opening, right? I do have the icon which is coming up and I do have this picture is also coming up, right? So in the part one, what we have discussed here is how we can add the batches, how we can do the styling, how we can create our own custom styling and put everything on the lightning data table, right? I hope every one of you found this session helpful and got the learning from this session. Kindly let me know folks in the comment section or in the chat section if you found the today's session helpful or also you can let me know in the comment section what all different things that you look to learn in the lightning data table as well. Thank you everyone. Have a good time. Bye-bye.